Welcome back, Learn to Code Nation. Thanks for joining me once again. Uh, we're going to talk about environment variable overrides in this one. This is part of a larger series of using app settings.json files in .NET Core applications, specifically console applications. And you're going to need a few dependencies. You're going to need extensions, configuration, environment variables, configuration, JSON, and then we have a couple logging dependencies here so we can actually prove uh, that it works. So if we were to take a peek here at the development run, we're not going to run local, we're going to run in development so that we can override some value based off an environment variable. If we take a look and we run this, we're going to see that we get a an output that says environment variable value. Okay, so it's working, it's being overridden, but how is the question. So if we take a look at our launch settings, you'll notice this app settings underscore underscore first setting. This is important. This identifies that this is a, an object called app settings that houses a property called first setting. So you can imagine the hierarchy can go further if necessary. And we set it to environment variable value. Now, how did we get that to override what was in app settings.json of first value? All right, so let's take a peek here at the program. And it kind of boils down to this statement right here. So what happens is we <clears throat> bring in the app settings.json and we bring in the environment JSON file, which was in a previous video where we talked about using environments. And then we say, but if there's any environment variables, we want to take those over anything in the app settings JSON and then ultimately anything in the app settings, say, dot development dot JSON. And then that's how we build our configuration and that's how we get our value. And that's it, guys. That's as complex as it gets, but it's nice to be able to override that uh, when necessary uh, so that way you can use environment variables during runtime. A lot of times in production, that's not that uncommon. So, hey, thanks a lot for joining me. Uh, I look forward to being able to hang out with you again next time. And uh, until then, happy coding.